how would you like to sip coffee? Sitting in a square in front of one of the most magnificent views in the world. I'm talking about the views of Vesuvius from Sorrento. Well, this can be a reality if you join me and come to uh, Sorrento for summer one, this, um, this uh, coming summer, for the Love It Sorrento program. Learning under Vesuvius, Italy in June 2023. I'm Vanda Balzano, the faculty director of Love It, and I would love to take you with me to come to Italy and to, in particular, to down south to Naples and south of Naples to Sorrento. There is this magnificent landscape I was telling you about, and um, and the Santana Institute, where we are going to be, um, is um, a great place uh, for Wake Forest students to enjoy um, the landscape, to enjoy the culture and life in the area. And it's an incredible uh, building. It used to be a convent and now it's um, a very uh, updated uh, modern location but also you will see that students uh, can um, take classes while watching um, a view of, uh, of the sea, a fantastic view of the sea. There are three terraces, there's a garden and uh, on the terrace there are people uh, doing yoga or having a class or uh, enjoying uh, taking the sun and also down in the bay there is um, a beach where students can uh, enjoy um, uh, having um, a swim and also there's a very cute historical uh, harbor and with little restaurants at night. It's very romantic, um, but also um, it's, um, it's, a great, it's a great place for um, all kinds of, um, of entertainments. In fact, uh, Sorrento has an active uh, nightlife and a flow of tourists. It's a great place for restaurants, evening outings. You can sit in a coffee, enjoying the swimming vistas of the Gulf a night in the morning uh, and also you can sit in a historical cafe or um, piazza watching the world go by, sipping espresso, eating famous uh, uh, pastry from, from Naples, it's from the area really, it's fogliatella or gelato and any food that will make your mouth water, I guarantee you. So the course you will be attending while um, in Sorrento, uh, we learn a credit towards Division 1. It's called WGS 150 Perspectives on Gender and Sexuality. It's a multidisciplinary, multidisciplinary course. It's conducted in English. Don't worry, <laughs> no Italian knowledge um, is expected of you. And introduces um, students to all aspects of literature, society, culture, and history of the Italian Southern region around Vesuvius. Uh, through the lens of gender and sexuality. And I know that you know that Vesuvius is the mountain, it's a volcano, um, that looms over the area. We will study gender and sexuality, other social categories, uh, social constructs with a view to the United States and to Italy. But now, if you already have taken WGS 150, um, this course is so uh, unusual and so much, uh, so different from any other course that you can uh, earn credits. Um, you can, we can uh, arrange for you to earn credits with a different course number because it's, um, it's a special topic that is not repeated. And in addition to, uh, you know, this is a a hands-on course, so in addition to the uh, conventional course or even in substitution of some parts of it, I will bring you to many, many um, guided visits to local NGOs, to the ancient sites of Pompeii, of uh, Oplonti, and also to Kuma, which is the place where, um, where uh, the, the Sibyl, who who was famous for oracles, um, was uh, in. And um, so it's a rich historical place in archaeology, in art, but also when we will study sports and gender, we'll have a tour of the legendary gym box Vesuviana, where Olympic boxing champion Irma Testa works out. She is the first Italian woman to ever 
win a medal for the uh, category of boxing for the uh, in sports and it was um, quite a, an achievement for her um, also we will read parts of a novel that uh, later was adapted into a movie which has a pasta empire and business women at its center we will visit one of the pasta factories um, that dates back to the 1850s and that has kept its sustainable approach to production while also incorporating uh, green uh, technologies. We will learn how to make pasta, we will eat it and it's all about community as well, learning everything uh, that we have um, in the area. And of course I'm from there so uh, I will be able to be a good guide that um, uh, will allow you to experience and you know in full all this um, all these events, all these uh, cultural sites. Um, another aspect of the course will be a joint class or joint classes um, with the Academia della Moda, um, which is the Fashion Academy, uh, the Academy of Fashion, where you will be able to understand how art and business combine in the glamorous environment of the fashion industry. I already talked to uh, the faculty there so that students can um, be in class together and it, it will be fun the, it is in Naples. Uh, another aspect of the course will be to learn about tango. Tango is global tango, is learning, living and dancing uh, the tango in Naples. Tango originated in Argentina but through Paris extended in other parts of um, the world and Naples is one of the places where uh, tango really uh, flourishes and um, we will um, learn how to dance tango with a, uh, during one of our, our class meetings. I will arrange for a lesson, it should be fun. And uh, we will visit one of the most beautiful ballrooms in Italy that is used by tangueros. We learn about feminist tango, queer tango, and we will um, enjoy um, a few steps. And, um, and also um, there is a social world festival in, um, uh, film, based on film uh, in Vica Quenze. Vica Quenze is very close, it's the next town, very, uh, very close to Sorrento and uh, we already will watch movies that will be directly related to what we are studying but we will attend local festivals and um, again I talked to the organizers of the Social World Film Festival and there will be opportunities for collaborations with, or for various collaborations with them. Um, importantly, uh, last but not least, Naples is the third largest city in Italy after Milan and Rome and actually I should say after Rome and Milan <laughs> and it's full of history and traditions and rich in culture and life and many monuments but also many iconic dishes that all over the world knows uh, such as pizza, uh, caprese and really um, mouth-watering um, you know mouth-watering delicious food that when you will um, have the opportunity to taste there you realize that you know, how um, it's like speaking a language, how th different things um, are there. Um, so there will be many monuments uh, to visit together and we will, um, it's a very walkable city. Also, I wanted to say that Naples is the, has the largest historical center uh, in the world, in, the, in Europe. And um, that should um, also give us plenty of opportunities to have gain a lot of experiences as we are there. If you have questions contact me at balzano w uh, at wfu and odd.edu. I'll be happy to answer any questions you might have but also uh, remember to go uh, to the study abroad um, scholarship office to find out uh, about the many opportunities to get to receive funding. And again, grazie and arrivederci. I will um, look forward to um, seeing you soon. So, ciao!